Hello and welcome to Zabbix series. In this video, we are going to be looking at the Zabbix proxy upgrade procedure. In front of you, you can see I have two proxies. I have a Zabbix MySQL proxy and I have Zabbix SQLite proxy. The reason why I have these two proxies in particular is because the upgrade procedure for MySQL and Postgres proxies is different when compared to upgrade procedure for SQLite proxies. So we are going to be looking at both of the upgrade procedures for both of these proxies. As you can see over here, I'm running Zabbix 6.0.4, at least the front end version. We can also open up our command line over here. And you can see if I do a full screen that I'm running Zabbix server 6.0.4. And when it comes to proxies, let's open them up. The proxy for MySQL is 5.0.23 and the proxy for SQLite is also 5.0.23. So regardless of the fact that we are running different major versions, we can actually still see that proxies have the last seen age in the front end. They are able to communicate with the server. Yes, but this isn't officially supported. So running older versions, older major versions of proxies when compared to the current server version that you're running is not supported. And actually, if we open up the proxy log files, let's say on the MySQL proxy, let's do a cat var log Zabbix, Zabbix proxy log, we will see if we scroll up some failure messages. Fail to update local proxy configuration copy unexpected field. The reason for this is because the server is sending the 6.0 configuration to the 5.0 proxy and the 5.0 proxy doesn't know how to deal with some of the new configuration fields. So you will have issues with data collection. And if you are upgrading your environment, you should upgrade both Zabbix server and Zabbix proxies, at least if you're doing a major version upgrade. If you're upgrading minor versions, so for example, you have a server of version 6.0.4 and proxy of version 6.0.2, that will be fully supported. All right, now let's start with the SQLite because I assume many of you have maybe smaller environments for proxies and you're running SQLite. So let's start with the SQLite upgrade procedure. So let's start with stopping our proxy. System control stop Zabbix proxy. And you have to remember that once you stop your SQLite proxy, we will actually have to delete the SQLite database later down the line during the upgrade. So if you have a lot of collected backlog that hasn't been sent to the server yet, all of that will be deleted. So make sure that you have all of the necessary information stored in the Zabbix server, forwarded from the proxies, stop the proxies, and then we can start the upgrade process. So our first step will be adding the Zabbix 6.0 repository, installing it over here, Zabbix release 6.0. So let's install it. So that was quick, done, upgraded to 6.0. Now let's clean our DNF cache. The reason we do this is, so in, in case if some of the older packages have been cached in the DNF cache, if that is the case, when we try to upgrade, we will see a message, no new version available. That's why we clean the cache and all of the new packages from the 6.0 repository will be reloaded into the cache and then we will actually be able to do the upgrade. So now we can do the DNF upgrade Zabbix proxy, so let's do it like this, DNF upgrade Zabbix proxy SQLite 3. And let's go, let's also pass, pass a yes to it. All right, now we may have to wait for a minute or so, so let's do just that. All right, so the upgrade has been completed. Now let's try and start our proxy. So system control, start Zabbix proxy, let's start it. And what we will get in a moment is an error message. We weren't able to start a proxy. Let's do a tail of the proxy log and let's find out what is the problem. Tail var log Zabbix, Zabbix proxy log. And Zabbix does not support SQLite 3 upgrade. The proxy does not match its database. Like I said before, the reason for this is the fact that our SQLite database file still has version 5.0 schema. Zabbix does not support automated SQLite database upgrades. So what we need to do is we need to delete the old database file 
and Zabbix will automatically recreate an empty new database file with the 6.0 schema and start collecting information into it. So to find out the location of our database, let's navigate to the proxy configuration file under Etsy Zabbix, zabbixproxy.conf. And if we search for DB name over here, we can see that the database file is located under TMP Zabbix proxy. So let's remove it. So remove slash TMP Zabbix proxy. Yes, I wish to delete this file. And now let's try and start our Zabbix proxy. System control, start Zabbix proxy. No error messages. Let's do a tail once again of our proxy log. And we can see, looks like everything has been started successfully. So that's SQLite. Now let's move on to MySQL. MySQL is a bit different. So is Postgres. Postgres is very similar to MySQL. So, all right, same as before, let's system control stop Zabbix proxy, right? We will stop our Zabbix proxy, then install the 6.0 repository. That will be quick. There we go, and it's done in a second, 6.0 repository installed. Let's clean up our DNF cache just to be safe. And now let's do DNF upgrade, DNF upgrade. Zabbix proxy, MySQL, yes. And once again, we may have to wait for a minute or so, so let's give it some time. All right, our MySQL proxy has been upgraded. Good. Now let's try and start it. System control, start Zabbix proxy. No error messages. And if we do a tail, var log Zabbix, Zabbix proxy log. We can see everything has been started. And if we actually do a cat or a longer tail, I'm gonna do a cat of the proxy log, uh, we will actually be able to see if we scroll up that the database over here has been automatically upgraded. So that is the case with Postgres and MySQL. And over here we can see database upgrade fully completed, right? 100% successfully. So even though MySQL proxies can be a bit more complex to set up because you need to have a database backend. The upgrade procedure is actually even more simple. It can take longer because yes, the database schema needs to be upgraded. We have that whole process to take into our sort of downtime, into the calculation of our downtime, as opposed to simply deleting the SQLite file. But it's simpler, less steps, and you retain whatever was in the database. And if we navigate back to our front end, we can see that we have both of these proxies. The last seen age is five and four seconds. Both of them have a host that they're monitoring. And we can confirm that they're working, that we're receiving data by navigating to monitoring latest data. And let's say, let's look for Linux application server. This is the MySQL host monitored by the MySQL proxy. And this one, the second one, is monitored by SQLite. And if I look at the Linux application server over here, I can see that, yep, the last checks have happened mostly less than a minute ago, but depending on the update interval, I am getting the data that I need to get. Let's not forget that we also have people that use Docker, and with Docker, this is pretty much very similar. You just pick up the proxy image, deploy the container from the 6.0 or whichever version you want to use. Maybe you're using a Q&A environment. You wish to play around with Zabbix 6.2, so you just pick up, the latest version of your image and deploy it. And you, if you have linked your proxy to an external database, right? So we have a, a MySQL proxy here and the previous one was SQLite. Then if you have linked it to a MySQL database, it will then do an automatic database upgrade once it has been started from the new uh, image. The container has been started from the new image, let's say 6.0 in our case. And that's that and you're good to go. So thank you everyone for sticking with me. I hope this was comprehensive. This will be helpful not only if you're upgrading from 5.0 to 6.0, but also between different versions. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for some next topics for Zabbix series, feel free to leave a comment under this video. So thank you guys. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.